All right, you guys, we're here to play poker. Let's go. How much you want, Norm? Uh, give me 40 bucks worth. What's the rush, Kelly? You got a broad lineup later? Well, the game can't last all night. You want me to get you one? Oh, you know me, Kelly. The wife's the only one. Oh, Kelly <laughs> feels that way, too. Yeah? Anybody's wife. Right. <laughs> Pick them with a rifle. Waste not, want not. That's right. Hey, Stu, come on, let's go. Uh, while you're here, friend, remember this ain't integrated housing. Just tell folks she was a Mexican. Oh, it's he's in your. <laughs> Start me off with 20, would you? 20. Yeah, I'll have 25. Look, uh, can anybody get a drink around here? Yeah, right at the bar. Yeah. Well, get one for me while you're up there. Okay, how about you guys? Eh? I'll just have a beer. Yeah, please. Right. Uh, what about you, Spanish Rose, little tequila? A little soul Scott, senor. Uh, what is your name? Johnny. As in Johnny Walker. As in Jack Daniels. <laughs> you deal, Stu. I'll uh, just take 10 for now, Kel. Oh, you're really plunging in there tonight, huh, Bill? Let me have 25 to start. Okay. Is this five card set okay? Yeah. Well, listen, let's uh, let's skip the three raise limit. Keep the game interesting. Oh, come on, Norm. Nobody's got as much money as you. Let's just keep it friendly. What do you say? Okay, Kim, baby. But I'm going to clean you either way. <laughs> Hi. Uh, is this the poker game thing? Hi, yeah, the end. done. How are you? Oh, how do you do, Johnny? Yeah. Well, come on in. Can I can I fix your drink? Oh, no, thanks. Oh, all right. Well, you know our host. This is Kelly and uh, Bill Hi. and Norm Gordon. Hi, Hi, Hi. I'm Stu. Hi, Stu. This is Ken. Ken, how are you? Good to see you. How are you? Any friend of John's? Hello? Yeah, he's here, Marge. Just a second. Ken, it's for you at your wife. Yes, Margaret. Oh, thanks. Yes, well, don't get upset about it. Why don't you call Barbara? Yeah, well, maybe he's at Harold's. Well, don't get hysterical. Look, I'll talk to you later. Yes, yeah. Come on, that's enough socializing for now, gentlemen. The game is five card stud. <laughs> Hold on to your hats, because we're going under a low bridge. You got a problem? Kid? No, it's Robert. He joined the SFL. He went to a meeting that protests the draft tonight. And I told him to stay away from those people, get a haircut and a shave, or lose his car allowance. Oh, that's telling him. Well, he's in my house. He's going to obey my rules, that's all. Yeah. And what did Bob say? It wasn't a discussion. Well, where's he now? He left the house. Margaret's hysterical, thinks he's going to be gone for good. He's probably around the corner at some girlfriend's house. Well, I hope he gets some sympathy. You don't think you should be with her? Mm -mm. Go ahead. Do. Hey, Don, don't I know you from somewhere? I don't know. I work at coffee shops around the campus. You know? That's it. You're a comic. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. A hippie, huh? Well, Rose by any other name. You know, I think that's unfortunate, that uh, reference to smelling is sweet, as far as hippies are concerned. Uh, hey, you know, I can uh, play some other night. Sit I don't down, want to sit down, yeah, rest, fine, play the game. Ken, his only joke. Come on, Ken. Yeah, what's the matter with you, Ken? Did you catch his act or something? No, there's nothing personal about it. I just object to the poisoning of young people's minds, that's all. That's what they said about Socrates. And you know what happened to him, don't you? They killed him. Insight. Stories of spiritual conflict in the 20th century. Insight. It's sometimes difficult to face reality, especially the reality about ourselves. Yet we die inside unless we do. Why are we so afraid to be ourselves? Because somehow or other we've gotten the idea that we're evil. We don't like what we feel we are, and so we spend all kinds of time and energy running away. Different people do this in different ways. Some people refuse to feel. They exclude from consciousness any unpleasant emotion. Other people build false fronts to deceive other people and themselves. Still others have to constantly prove to themselves that they're not as bad as they think they are. The man who lives for money, who must have power, who feels the need to constantly demonstrate his sexual prowess, is doing this. He's running away from himself. Are we really that bad? I don't think so. Sure, we all have problems, but with the time and energy we spend running away, we could easily solve those problems and become the kinds of persons we want to be.
Well, how are you? Well, I tell you, I can't get a hand of my life to pass. I thought your kings would hold up that time. Hey, Don, what kind of an act do you do? Uh, I do things on newspapers, gossip, uh, nothing heavy, just kind of funny stuff. What's uh, funny nowadays, Don? Riots in the streets. <laughs> no offense to Kids supposed to be learning in college, attacking the people that sent them there. All right, Annie for five-card stud. Mm. Yeah, I remember, Don. I saw you at a little place over near Western Reserve. Yeah, Catalyst Coffee Shop. Yeah, I went to Western. It was a pretty nice school until you outside agitators started stirring up trouble. Oh, your stuff was just funny, Ken. All right. Two dollars on my queen. Well, I fold. I've got a hunch I'm gonna stick. I'm in. Oh, yeah. And I'm out. Two bucks for you guys to see what's behind that ace deuce. All right, big Norm, I'm coming to get you. I'm gonna take you for your tenement houses, your two and my two. Oh, you're gonna work hard for those tenements. There's your two and a raise your two. Don, aren't you a little old for the campus circuit? I mean, face it, kids don't trust anybody over 25 today. Do you trust me? Johnny, he doesn't even trust himself. But then who does? Well, can you just give me one good reason why I should trust any man? It's more fun. Is it? Well, then things must look very good through those rose-colored glasses. Let's take a look. Be careful. Johnny will talk your ear off. He thinks too much, which causes... Yes, it causes me to drink too much. <laughs> but, Norm, these, these really work. They do. They almost make you look human. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Come on, Kelly, what are you gonna do? Better fold. I got you beat on the board. I'm coming to get you, Big Norm. I'm glad I folded. Oh, that's right, Plate. Nice and careful, just like your boss. You know, you two must be related. The cool and collected combo. Brothers under the skin. Oh, I wish Stu were my brother. I feel closer to him than I do my own son. Now, how does your own son feel about that? Look, I'm sure Bob has his reasons for what he does, Ken. Reasons? For cutting classes, you mean? Marching, protesting, demonstrating. Protesting what? DNB's SLs. I don't know. I don't even remember the initials. Come on, come on. I gotta win some more money and it's getting late. Oh, okay, I'll stay. This is dumb, but I'll stay one more time. Will somebody please whip Bill? He's getting tired doing it himself. I call you, Kelly. I could raise you to the ceiling, but I'll just call you. <laughs> <laughs> Class will out. Boy, what a jerk I am. I knew Norm had it going in. <laughs> Anybody want a drink? <laughs> I'll join you. I hate to see a man bring along. Now, you see, Kelly was hurt in the witness part. Bill, Bill just hurts. But I played it like a winner. Make a joke of that, comic. Jokes are always on the losers. How can you tell who's a loser? Uh, let's see. How about a little seven-card stud? That's an honor of you, Kelly. <laughs> oh, <laughs> see how your, your reputation has preceded you? Well, if I had a wife like yours, Billy Boy, I would gladly surrender my title. Well, if she was married to you, at least it'd give her something to do, wondering where you were every night. <laughs> well, I would open for a half. Well, I'm the king of spades. With a sign like that, I would at least increase my bet to $2. Oh, come on, Kelly, come on. Well, there's no offense intended. Stu's a credit to his race. Come on. Well, which race? I'm half white and half black. You're a sharp boy. We both study people, but I do it to make a buck. Yeah, whatever turns you on. You Jewish? By faith or genetics? What are you ashamed of? Why don't you cut off some of that hair and stop being a punk? Couldn't I still be a punk without all the hair? I'm, I'm sorry. Nice. Nice. I'm Just, sorry. I didn't mean to do it. Slow down on the goggle, please. I, that I, is I, the second good hand that the dummy here has lushed me out of. Well, go ahead and take it. You had me beat on the board anyway. Hey, wait a minute, Kelly. Wait a minute. All right, just let it ride. It was a missed deal, that's all. I gotta make a phone call anyway. Three to one, he's calling abroad. Nothing bothers you. You remind me of my old man. I do. Got a paper and rags truck. Paper, rags, rags, papers. He used to ride up and down the streets with him. Paper, rags. 
Yeah? Yeah, well, I can sneak out by one o'clock, huh? Oh, come on, Sal, what do you say? In the boy neighborhoods, they'd scream at him, Sheeny. He'd grin. Kike. He'd grin. He bought by weight. They'd wet the newspaper so they'd weigh more. He'd grin. Hey, come on, you guys. Aren't we going to play poker? No pride, you know. I was just a kid. Scrawny, you know. But I'd get blind, mad. I'd jump out of the truck. Got my head busted a couple of times. The old man says, you didn't have to hit them, Norman. They didn't mean no harm. A sugar. With an idiotic grin. Loved everybody. The guys can close the place up. Come on, Sal, what do you say? Well, he's out of town, right? All right, well, you can try. Call me back, huh? Five card stud, gentlemen. Yes. Well, the IBM machine acts lucky tonight. But I'm going to take you care. I certainly try, Norman. I know that. <laughs> I think that I could have stayed home and watched TV with my wife. Why didn't you, Bill? You know, for a comic, you haven't said a funny thing all evening. It's my night off. I'm in. Raise. Too rich for my blood. It's good to know where you belong, huh, baby? You bet. Now, we get that, Stu? Sure. Hello, Margaret. Yeah, just a minute. Hey, Ken, it's Margaret. Mm. Take a message, will you? Margaret is busy. Can I take a... OK, hang on. She says Bob's not at either place. <clears throat> she wants to know what to do. Raise. Tell her to go to bed. I can't not to worry, Margaret. I... You know, try to get some rest. I know you do. Yeah, I'll try. Hey, some fancy club we got here, no, huh, fellas? I mean, we've got ourselves the dark here to answer the telephone. <laughs> I'll raise two. See you raising up, too. Kid, don't let Kelly ride you. Stick up for yourself. Well, who's become a civil rights worker? <laughs> what become? I kicked in plenty of their cause long before it was popular to do it. Well, Norman, on behalf of all my people, white, black, Half white and checkerboard. I want to thank you from the bottom of our Negro or colored hearts. We are mighty beholden to you, sir. <laughs> what kind of talk is that? A lot of my people got pushed around helping your people. Oh, Stu's people, your people. Oh, God's children got people. Now, you mean all God's people got children. I got three or four myself somewhere along the way. Yeah, you mix. Well, I might even be the daddy uh, one of Bill's babies, huh? Right, Billy boy? The one in the middle looks a lot like Uncle Kelly. Let's play poker, what do you say? Now, one thing I have never done is gotten together with a black woman. I understand that is something else again. Right, Stu? I wouldn't know. My wife's white. It's your bet, Kelly. I should have gone out earlier. Well, I am out. Look, uh, Kelly, where do you keep the super booze? You know where it is, underneath the counter, baby. Uh -huh. You know, the less should uh, pace himself like I do. Yeah. Of course, I do have a very heavy, heavy schedule to keep up. You gonna fold or stay? No, I'll go one more time. Come on, Kelly. Scared away all the lightweights. Put up or shut up. I'm gonna teach you a lesson, Norman. Oh, 
Oh, you're a good poker player, Kenny. You don't show anything. Me, I can't hide it. All I can do is bed heavy and push out the weak ones. Well, I push easily. Well, you should have. You should have stayed. You should have bluffed those two whole cards. You'd have won. Hey, if that chick I've got lined up has a friend, you want to stick around after the guys leave and have a little party? No, I'll pass. Come on, it would be a ball. Nothing. Okay, Cam, okay, baby. Be Better fold, boy chick. Listen, I think you're bluffing. Hey, what I'm going to do, Norman, I raise you. That's the trouble. Too much thinking and not enough feeling. We raise. I don't provoke. Hello, Sam? Yeah, yeah, he's here. Just a second. Ken, it's your wife again. She says it's important. Can't you see? He's in the middle of losing a big hand. What are you doing, Ken? No, it's, it's about his kid, uh, some demonstration. All right, you take the pot. Hey, you folded it. You have me beat. Yes, Margaret. Well, who told you? Did he understand what I said to him? Well, what's he trying to do to me? Is this gratitude? He ought to let up on that kid. Ken, hurry it up, will you? I'm expecting a call. He's doing it just to hurt me. Now, you listen to me, Margaret. He knows precisely where I stand. And from now on, he is on his own. Why don't you go lay down for a while, Johnny? No, no, it's, it's too early. I just have to wake up and start all over again. Don? What's wrong with you young people, all of you? Right now, my son is at a protest meeting against the draft, and they are deliberately trying to provoke a confrontation with the police, a protest. For what reason? He thinks he has a reason. He thinks? There's no one he thinks anymore. He feels he has a reason. Well, I feel something right now. I feel sick. Let me see if he's all right. Now you take Stu. He is the only young man that I know who knows where he is going and he is colored. Do you know what that means? Do you? No. No, I don't. And... And then that's what scares me. Just doesn't make any sense. Hey, it's 12.15. Come on, you guys. I'm down $52. Let's play poker. All right. Deal me in. You know, I think my son could really communicate with you. Raise. Oh, boy. No, and what happens to you inside when you win? What makes it all so important to you? That's a dumb question. It's important because that's what it's about. Suppose you lost this hand or some big business deal. Would you be a different person? Yeah, I'd be a loser. 130, big winner. What's he telling you, funny man? How much he gave to the UJA last year? Deal, ladies' man. Now, come on, fellas. Let's play cards. You know, Stu, I think I'd better go down there. Why don't you? Why? The name of the game, gentlemen, is Five Card Showdown. Kelly, I hate showdown. Why, Norm? Because you can't bluff. Five dollars for the pot, ten dollars for the highest spade. Excuse the expression, Stu. Oh, come on, Kelly. You can't offend me, Rachel. Why don't you just stop the stale jokes? At last we speak up. You know, underneath all your people are militants. Huh? His people, your people. What happened to all God's people? You haven't said anything funny all night. And you have never said anything colored. Well, I say things blight. 
That's a cross between black and white. Ah. Black, why, come on and deal. I'm interested in your green. I accept Stu as the equal of anybody here. Yes. But does Stu accept us? Did anybody ever ask him? Don, I know you look through rose-colored glasses, but everything you're looking at is really gray. It is, it's just gray. That's, that's, that's why I look through these glasses. How about no glasses at all? Why not just look at life straight ahead? Well, no, I like it this way. Do you really? Last car, gentlemen, hold on to your hats. Sure don't. You sit like a jerk waiting. There's no betting, there's no kick in winning this. Anybody beat his uh, high spade in Paraquins? Uh, I playing poker with a bunch of bums for when I could get some real action on the phone. Come on, come on, deal, deal. We got all night, Norm. Why should I rush to the disaster? Why don't you just take a positive attitude, huh? Why don't you let your son take his positive attitude? Now why don't you mind your own business? Go ahead and deal. My son's a fool. You can ask anybody. Is he, too? No, he's no fool. He's doing something he believes in. He's not a fool. Oh, come on, Stu. You and I never acted this way in college. Well, things have changed. We were in school. We never asked questions. I stopped asking questions when I was three years old. If you don't make waves, no one will ask whether you're white or black. If you're quiet enough, they'll trust you. Well, I trust you. Do you, Ken? Yeah. Because I'm just so tired of being, just being a, a test case. That's it, a test case. You know, the anthropologists say that in a few years, that there won't be any more black or white, or red or yellow. That the whole human race will just breed out brown. Well, I'm there now, and the human race isn't ready for me. I think that's the most sensible attitude you can take. That I would rather be foolish. I'd rather be like your son. I'd, I'd, I'd rather have something to smile about, like your father. Losers. Kelly. Hey, how about getting into a cabin coming over here, huh? Oh, come on, Ellie. It's just a couple of guys playing poker, huh? Look, I can get rid of them. Ellie, you gotta try. Ellie, I don't want to spend tonight alone, huh? Deal. I'm the biggest loser. I got the biggest expenses. You got the date. Why couldn't I be a simple animal like Kelly? Or a simple animal like me. Or a simple animal like Nola. Don, what kind of simple animal are you? Let's find out. Well, gentlemen, that makes me even for the evening. Play all night just to break even? Big deal. I enjoyed meeting all you guys. Now, uh, are we going to become a joke in one of your routines? You want to be a joke? What difference does it make what I want? Hey, how about canceling the $5 limit, huh? Good, good. That's my date. I don't understand you, Stu. You've changed. Oh, you understand me. I am just like you. Bright, pleasant, and phony. I guess underneath it all, we're all phonies. Yeah, Margaret. Ken, it's for you again, your wife. Don't you call me a phony. You want to hear my civil rights record? I've been hiring you boys for years. Well, if you were, Norman, it's because us boys work cheaper. When did he call? Oh. 
Is it serious? Did you see a doctor? No, Margaret, I will not call a lawyer. And as far as I'm concerned, he can spend the night in jail. It'll do him good. We're all for civil rights. I got my lumps in those marches. You like to get lumps. That is your problem. You didn't do it for any nigger. You gonna take that from him? Hey, did you hear what he called you? Wait a minute, what's the matter with you? Have you all gone crazy? You wouldn't be here if we weren't. Keep out of this, drunk. Yes, you're bloody right I am, and that's how I keep out of it. You know, violence is not gonna solve anything. Then what are you rapping your kid for? He's against violence. Against violence? He had his head smashed in by the police, and he's in a jail for assault. Come on, let's get back to the game. No. No, not I. I'm getting sick and tired of watching Bill steal from the bank. What'd you say, Johnny? Uh, come on, come on, he's just drunk. No, no. Johnny's right. He bought 10 bucks worth of chips from the bank and he's been losing consistently. You've been stealing chips from the bank. You back him with cash right now. You know I'm good for it. You know better than that. Back him with cash now. You don't pass out. Wait a second now. That's no way to settle anything. What business is it of yours? I think it's everybody's business. Yeah, who invited you in here? Coming here, digging at us, ripping us apart. You never had anything like this happen at our poker party. Yeah, remember? That was your thing in that coffee house. That was what you used to do, talk in circles, make people uptight with each other. Is that your thing, man? Making people mad at themselves? You don't invite a better class of people, Kelly. I didn't invite him, man. You're making problems. Why don't you get out of here? Huh? Come on, get out. Lousy troublemaking punk of that suit. Get out. Why don't you get leave people alone? I mean, why don't you leave me alone? Oh! 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 Oh